Sometimes the best adventures are the ones that don't go as planned at all. Today I'm going to talk about that a little bit, but really what I want to do is show you some amazing Jeep camp setups. Stay tuned. <music> Hey, welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and today on this episode, guys, I'm up here in Big Bear, California, and what I wanna do is tell you a little bit about the trip we had yesterday because it was crazy, but then what I wanna do is I'm gonna take you through these five awesome Jeeps that are behind me. We've been camping here, and I was walking around checking out everybody's camp stuff. I was like, guys, I gotta share this with my audience. So what I'm gonna do is they've given me permission to walk around and check out all the cool stuff, the, all the little details they've got about how they've set up their Jeeps to camp. I think it's really cool, I think you'll enjoy it. But here, let me tell you what happened yesterday. So we were doing a pre-run through Anza Borrego Desert, and then we were supposed to go all the way across to the Bradshaw Trail, and it was 115 degrees out there. And we knew it was gonna be hot, but man, it got really, really hot. So we finished going through Anza Borrego, and we went and stopped, and we were just kind of sitting back and relaxing, and we're like, guys, there's no way we're gonna sleep in this weather tonight. The coldest it's gonna get is like 98 degrees. So we decided to turn our tires north and drove two and a half hours and it ended up here in Big Bear, California. And man, it's so nice. I'm so glad we did this, a best decision because we are in a beautiful spot. We had such a nice relaxing night and it is so cool here. It just, oh, just to not be sweating our tails off is really nice. But that's just the fun of having a great adventure is, you know, you may have a plan sometimes, but sometimes you gotta deviate. And this was the best deviation we could have made because we found a great spot. None of us have actually been up here camping. There's some cool trails up here. I'm coming back up here, guys. Now, this video, we are gonna spend a little bit of time and I'm gonna walk around each one of these Jeeps. And it's not a Jeep walk around, I just wanna show you what they've got set up for like their storage and their refrigerators and their tables and kind of all their little camping details. It's really cool. I was like, I looking at everybody's stuff, I was like, man, I would love to do that. I would love to do this. And I'll show you through mine, you know, you guys have seen it a little bit, but there's a lot of stuff on mine that I don't like. So I'll talk a little bit about what I'm gonna change, but I think you're really gonna enjoy checking out these other Jeep setups, guys. So let me pull the camera off the tripod and let's go walk around. Let me just drink a little more coffee. Okay, before we get into the specifics of everybody's Jeep, I just wanna show you where we're at because it's such a beautiful spot. If you see here, this is a Joshua tree, and then we've just got these big pine trees all over the place. It's so unique to find both of those type of trees, you know, a desert tree and a mountain tree in the same spot. And we found this spot in the middle of the night and it is just amazing. Let's head over here and check out Frank's Jeep. So this Jeep is really cool because it has the Ursa Minor Top. And if you're not familiar with the Ursa Minor Tops, it's actually a hard top replacement. So you take off your hard top, you put this on there, and it's got this built-in tent. You set this up within like 15 seconds. It's really nice. I'll get a little close up here. And we have another Jeep that has a similar setup, so it's a really nice deal. But just look at the way that he's got things set up here. You know, it's funny, I was walking around, I think we all have the same table. So I'll just mention this once, but this is the Outback Adventures table. They're a really good table. I have it on my Jeep. It's got the little bamboo slide out there, really nice. It's very handy and it's stainless steel, so it's really sturdy. In the back here, he's got this goose gear plate. And this is, it's 100%. So he's removed the two rear seats, which I'll show you when we go around the back. But it's a, it basically gives you a ton of flat storage area. And then on the side, he's got these goose gear like boxes. So he's taken all the plastic off of here and there's little storage inside here and you can do all kinds of things. But it's just kind of a really nice clean look up. And I, I'll show you a couple other Jeeps. Everybody else seems to be doing the goose gear and I've tried to decide if I want to do something like this or just take some plywood and line exit. I haven't really made a decision yet. He's got the Snowmaster refrigerator back here and a shelf. And now he was telling me that this fridge is strictly for food. He's got another fridge in the front just for drinks. And I'll mention that here in a second. He's got a propane tank up here that he runs his stove off of. He's got a nice shelf that's here. You know, it's sitting up a lot higher than mine. I kind of like that. Uh, it looks like he's got some front runner bags, some Blue Ridge bags. Uh, nice, nice storage in here. I really kind of like the way he's got everything. You know, he's got chairs he can pull out and boxes he can pull out. But let's hop around the side here because that's where things really kind of get cool. He's got a lot of just little things in here hanging off the back of his chair. You know, he's got uh, this little, like a molly kit with his bags. He's got knives, all that kind of stuff. And there's his other refrigerator. 
that he's got just for drinks. And that's pretty cool. That's a really nice little setup. So you can just kind of, as you're driving, just reach up there and grab some drinks. This plate system, this 100% plate system, gives you all this storage underneath. So you can keep all kinds of cool gear under there. Uh, you know, you lose your back seat, but if you don't have kids, you don't need those back seats, that's a nice option. If you know you're really gonna have your Jeep as a dedicated rig, uh, and in the back here, he's got uh, he's got a little fan. He's got all kinds of stuff mounted up here. Just a nice, cool setup. And let me kind of peek up here and let's show you the. So that's how he gets in the Ursa Minor. So he crawls up in here, and then there's a really nice mattress up there. You know, it's just a really nice setup. It's clean. It's easy. Very nice. Very cool setup, guys. Tell me what you think in the description. You think you'd be willing to pull out all your rear seats for doing something like this? I think it's a cool option. I don't know if I would do it. And you can also see he's got the Batwing 270 awning by Rhino Rack. This thing is really nice. I hope this is something I can add to my Jeep sometime soon. And for his trash, he's got the Blue Ridge storage bag. And these are really well built, well designed. I like these, they're very nice. All right, just taking a quick look on inside of his Jeep. He's got the Vector Off-Road Bar with the 67 Design foam mount. He's got a little iPad Mini. He's got his in-reach, I think this is a Garmin system, so these are really nice. Uh, little monitors up top. Nice little setup, little monitor up there. And then he's got all his patches up on the roof, which is really cool. I always like seeing all that kind of stuff. All right, this is my buddy Eric's Jeep. And let me just mention the first thing that's most important here because this saved us a ton yesterday. He's got the Alucab 270 degree uh, awning. And man, I will tell you, yesterday when we were out in the desert, we stopped for lunch and it was 100 plus degrees out there. We were all congregating underneath this thing. It was really nice to have that. So it's an awesome system and it takes him just a minute to open and close this. It's really nice. Um, just the basic simple things, right? His He's just doing a little five, gallon can on an aluminum thing for his water and it works out really well for him. You know, it's easy access to get water. He's also got uh, propane storage for uh, do, running his stove. Now he's got the ARB refrigerator on a slide and then he's just keeping things very simple back here. You know, he's got some plastic boxes for his storage and his recovery gear. He's got this TerraFlex uh, shelf back here, which, you know, it's really, it's a nice shelf. It's very sturdy. Good, stu good quality stuff. So he's got the same goose gear plate, except this one is only uh, a 60% delete. So he's still got part of the rear seat, which I'll show you. But on the side here, he's got a little switch that he's got in integrated. So he's got a little power, a little 12 volt power thing. That's really a nice little design, you know, cause you know, always plugging in stuff back here. I've done something similar, but this is definitely cleaner than what I've got. And as I mentioned, he's got the same table and then He's got the Tapui tent up there, and he likes he likes the orange. He's got the orange accent, so it just totally fits his Jeep. But what's cool about this tent, and I've been out camping with him a couple times, is you can replace the entire top. So he's got like a Baja one that you take this top off, and it's just this, the entire tent is nothing but mesh. It's really cool to have kind of that option. Uh, and you put this one on, you know, for the colder weather, but he's got one for the summer. And that little black box up there, uh, is to run some LED lights. So he had some LED lights going on in here last night, which was which was pretty cool. Let's hop in the back of his Jeep here and let me show you what he's got going on. So he's got, uh, only, he's still got part of his rear seat, but he took that other one out and he's got his air compressor down here with, uh, you know, he's got a little uh, tank on there, which gives you a little bit extra juice when you're trying to fill up your tires. Uh, but it's really, you know, it's a nice clean setup in here. He doesn't have a lot going on. It's very simple for him. He's got the dead man off-road recovery storage bag. Um, got his camera gear all strapped down, you know, because you don't want your camera gear to be flying off when you're uh, when you're heading out. So that's a, that's a nice clean setup. But he's got something really cool that's in the glove compartment that I just want to show you if I can get in here without the sun glaring me out. Okay, check this out. So you open the glove box, guys, and he's got this, this little 12-volt power strip in here. So you've got USB and two uh, like cigarette lighters and an on off switch. What a cool place to put, you know, some power setup if you wanted to, to do that. I really like that. It's a really cool feature. All right, let's go take a look at another Jeep. 
All right, guys, uh, Jeep number three also has the Ursa minor top, and I, I think this one's really cool. It's definitely different than the other one we're going to talk about. But you can see, man, just uh, just throwing up a rock on there gets you level, and you got a nice level rig. But what's really cool, and I was checking out the, his water setup, he's got these, like, MSR bags, and he said he's had this since the mid-1990s. And what's really cool about this water storage bag is when it's empty, it doesn't take up any space. You just roll it up and put it away. So it's really nice. Plus, you put this out in the sun and you actually can get some hot water. That's a really nice design. I like that. Uh, check out his whole setup here for his... Now, he's got an ingle fridge and he's got just a small little stove right here. And I, you, know, you know, that's really all you need is just a small little one like that. He's got the nice little storage right here. Uh, and this, so this is the Goose Gear Tembo Tusk slider. I think it's just a really nice setup. And again, the table. Everybody's got the same table. I, I, obviously, there's a reason, guys. It's a good table. No, I, I'm, they're not sponsored or anything like that. Um, and neither is Goose Gear, by the way. It just happens to be that's what everybody has. Now, he also has... Let me get a little lower so we can just take a closer look. So he also has the Goose Gear plate system back here with the 60% delete. But what he was telling me is... He sleeps back here often, so he'll put like a, you know, a little pad and his sleeping bag and he'll sleep back there and then he lets his kids sleep up in, in the tent up there, which is, you know, how nice is that? Now you're sleeping three people in your Jeep. That's a really cool setup. Uh, and then what he's got is this, uh, this, this is really neat. He was telling me about this. So this is a table. So this thing actually comes out and there's little four legs under here and this turns into a table. So it's multi-use. And you know, when you're doing overlanding and that kind of stuff, having stuff in your Jeep that serve more than one purpose is really nice. So this is a shelf and it's a table. It's a really nice design. You know, he's got some bags and then up top here, he's got his power tank. You know, I love my CO2 tank. He's got, um, fire extinguisher and then if you look up top he's got his chair that he keeps up in storage and with the thing with the ursa minor is you i guess you get more more room up there on the roof so that's it's really nice now let's walk around the side here and kind of take a look inside his jeep i love i love these ursa minor guys i mean there's no overhang super simple setup I mean, it's a definitely an investment, but if you're going to be doing this a lot, you know, it's it's kind of worth it. All right, so now you can see he's also got plenty of storage under under there, but he's left that seat so you can still have a passenger back here, which is which is really nice. Okay, and I just wanted to take a minute just to kind of crawl up into his Jeep tent. Now, I'm standing on that platform, and I have got a ton of headroom in here. And you've got plenty of room. I mean, you could sleep both sides. There's plenty of room to fit your head or your feet on that side. But man, check out all the patches that he's got in here. How cool is all that? Very nice. It really is a lot of room. And having the ability to stand up in here, I mean, guys, you could use this as like a desk. I could put my laptop here, do some video editing while I was out, and then just look at the view you've got inside of this tent. Man, these Ursa Miners are really nice, guys. All right, let's go take a look at another Jeep. All right, guys, and then a Jeep you have seen on Trail Recon several times is Marco's Jeep. But guys, every time we come out and do something, he's got something new. And you can see all the chairs over here. We've kind of all congregated around his Jeep because he is always cooking up something really good. But just really quick to give you a quick rundown, and I'll leave a link in the description. You can go check out all the rig walk around we did of his. He's got the automatic free spirit tent. So that's right, it's got a remote control. He's got some very cool bags on here. This big orange, uh, looks like... Ort Live, I don't know how you say that guys, but that's a very cool bag. He's also got the Blue Ridge Trasheroo down here. Just a little bucket that he keeps for, you know, washing dishes and stuff down here. And then I gotta talk about this here for a second. And this is uh, mom's pie. So on our trip yesterday, we had to stop in Julian and get an apple pie for our trip. It's just become kind of a thing we do lately. Uh, in the back of Marco's rig, guys, he's got this very good custom drawer system. He built this all himself and again, Go check out the video and I'll show you everything that's in the drawers. It's really cool. Now he doesn't have the goose gear plate. He has something similar to maybe what I want to do, which is just taking some plywood and line Xing it. it. Gives you a great platform for mounting all your shelves, your refrigerator. And then he's got also that Terraflex storage system up here and it works really well for him. He's got all his recovery gear, all his cooking stuff. And then he's got all his utensils here and this nice little bag, just really good setup. 
And then I, he's got this little aluminum table that just folds up really well. And then Marco, what are you cooking up, man? You're always cooking up something so good. Oh, look at that, guys. And then he's using the Tembo Tusk Adventure Scottle. Really, really nice. Marco's always feeding us well, guys, as we're hanging out at camp. Look at that. Gotta love it. Just a great place to hang out. What an awesome spot. And then for water, Marco is using this water port. And this is really cool because it's this black plastic storage box that he's you pump up with air. So like a little air pump like this, it pressurizes it. And then there's a nozzle up here that allows you to, you know, you can wash your dishes, take a shower, whatever. That's a really cool water setup. I really like that. All right, now full warning before we head over to my Jeep. I have not cleaned it up for this video. My son was over here cooking, so there's probably a little bit of a mess. But what I will mention is, you know, I have had this Smitty built tent on here for a while and I get a lot of questions about it, guys. I have no complaints about it. For a budget tent, it has been really nice. And I will tell you, I slept like a baby last night. Now. I do have the trasheroo, and for me, I put a plastic bag in here just to keep the trasheroo clean. So I know some people just throw their trash in there directly, but I like to be able to just pull my bag out and just throw it away and keep the trash. You see all that dust? That was all from the desert, guys. Okay, uh, so my son was over here cooking uh, some scrambled eggs, and so he left a little bit of a mess, but he'll be cleaning it up soon. But we're just using a Coleman stove, but again, with that same table, and it's just really functional. You know, made, I made some coffee. We just set it over there. Everybody had coffee this morning. And then in the back of my Jeep, well, I'm, I'm happy, but I'm unhappy. So I love my refrigerator, but I need to get a slider. That's a definite must. But before I can get a slider, I've got to put some kind of base in here. And so initially what I was thinking was that I was just going to get, you know, some plywood and maybe line exit, and that will give me something to bolt that refrigerator to, and then maybe bolt some shelves to or something. But after taking a look at those goose gear setups, I don't know, we'll see, that's kind of cool, I, will, I like it. Uh, now I'm using Rotopacks, we brought a lot of water because we knew we were gonna need it. So these are 1.75 gallons of water each. That was a lot of water for us. Um, I'm glad we brought it all. I'm not sure I like having these Rotopacks, but they worked for this trip. Uh, now I'm still just using these rigid boxes for, you know, I've got one that's set up just for camp gear, so all my, you know, kitchenware and lights and everything I need for camping is in one box. And then this other box we've just thrown on top, usually it's sitting on the other one, is all my recovery gear. Uh, I keep my chairs up here, got my power tank, and then this is the Vector off-road shelf. And then over here is something I get questions about all the time. And this is just a little 12 volt power system that we installed. This allows you to run the refrigerator. I've got a little yes USB port. Uh, my son was actually just charging his phone off there at the campsite. It's actually really nice. You can pick something off this off of eBay like this. They're really, really super cheap, guys. Um, so overall, you know, I mean, it's working for me, but I'm not really content. I need to get a better living system. It needs to just be more organized in there. And right now it's not there yet, but we're getting there. And now the back of my Jeep is not as elaborate as everybody else's. I just have my seats that, you know, I've obviously recovered, but we're just throwing bags and camera gear and all kinds of stuff back here. It works for me. I don't know that I could ever bring myself to taking out a seat, but you know, I never have any rear passengers. So who knows what could happen in the future. I do carry my first aid kit right on the headrest. That's easily accessible. And then up top here on the roll bar, is I have a fire extinguisher. So that's also readily accessible if I need it. But that's, I don't have a lot going on there, but I just thought I'd share that with you guys. So I know the video was just kind of spur of the moment off the cuff and just walking around randomly talking about everybody's stuff, but I really love doing that. I mean, that's actually something we do here at camp, you know, all night, you know, we were walking around, hey, what do you got? What's new? What have you changed? And I thought it would be really cool to kind of share that with you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found something in there that you're like, you know what? I really like that. I think I would want to do that. I've got a lot more to do to my Jeep and I'll be sharing that with you along the way, guys. What a beautiful, beautiful place. We're gonna go do some more exploring uh, and definitely some future trail videos coming from this area. Now, I didn't film any trail stuff today or last night, but I'm gonna come up here because I think this is a cool spot, guys. Look, if you're visiting Trail Recon for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. Thanks for watching.